This is Will with Shonok Studios, and today I'm going to show you how we use PlatFX Armor Metallic Paints to get a metallic effect on our props. The first thing you always want to do with a cast piece is give it a good wash. For our basic metallic look, we use three different paints from PlatFX, the Primer, Gauntlet, and Samurai Sword. We start with Gauntlet, which is the darkest of the colors, and you just want to go back and forth at perpendicular angles to create a crosshatch effect uh, to kind of give it like a brushed metal look. Once you finish the first layer and let it dry, then you want to take the lighter metallic and do the same thing, repeat the crosshatch effect a little bit lighter, not as heavy, to give it some depth to the layers. Now, as an optional add-on, depending on your piece, sometimes we'll take chainmail, which is an even lighter metallic, and do just a couple of highlights on the high points to give it a little bit of extra depth. Now, I know you're wondering what happened to the primer. Well, we don't actually use the primer as primer in this case. We use it as a top coat because it dries clear and glossy. So we take the primer, do the crosshatch effect again, over top to seal in the paint and reinforce that brushed metal look. Shiny. Now this bo headband and these Ahsoka headbands are urethane rubber, but we actually use this technique in these paints on other parts too. These are hard resin, we use it on foam, especially if we want to match across parts for a single costume. We hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Links down below to get yourself some PlatFX paints or any of the parts that you saw that we painted in the video from our shop. Thank you for your support and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.